In this video, we will show you how to construct and position your polytunnel hoops. Here are the parts you'll need. During the manufacturing process, the hoops are oiled. You will be required to remove the oil with a degreaser such as hot soapy water or white spirits. This is required as the polytunnel cover will be protected from the hoops with an adhesive tape. It is easier to clean the hoops prior to assembling them. First, we will start by assembling the hoops on a flat, clear area. The two legs of the hoop have one swaged end and one plain end. One arch piece has one swaged end and one plain end. The second arch piece is plain on both ends. Connect the sections of hoop together by slotting the swaged end into the plain end. Secure the tubes together using a self-drilling screw with the provided driver socket, 4cm from the joint. Flip the final hoop over prior to screwing. This ensures when the hoops are positioned the screw heads are internal to the structure and that the configuration of the hoop joints are identical for all hoops. It is normal practice for the hoops to be put under tension to get the required width. Do not assume that the hoop, when assembled, is the correct width. It will look wider until positioned onto the foundation tubes or base plates. Position an assembled hoop at one end of the structure, ensuring the screw heads are not externally facing. This will prevent damaging the polytunnel cover when fitted. Repeat the process for all hoops. You can find more videos to help you build your polytunnel and construct.firsttunnels.co.uk. We also have a construction helpline if you require any further assistance.